Who has had a good week? Do you know what? Well, can I? Am I allowed to have two? Yeah, yeah. When you go. Right. First one is Nicola Sturgeon. She's had a great week. She's been at the Glasgow Women's Library. She's been reading books. She's just totally like, yeah, I'm done with this. So doesn't really matter. Um, you know, and you can see that in FMQs today. She's just, she's just loving it. Like she's so relaxed. She's just, you know, just. She doesn't really care what Douglas Ross says. But my other person who's had a good week is also Douglas Ross. I think that actually um, he's not done too badly in terms of FMQs today. He, well, no, actually, I would say he nailed FMQs today. He just totally mm. skewered, um, skewered it and made really good points. Bad week. Um, basically, anyone who's running to be the next first minister... Um, how about you, David? Good week, uh, good week, uh, bad week. Good week for me, I think, is Alistair Jack. Obviously, Scotland's favourite Tory, as he's coined in some in some aspects of it. I mean, he's got a period from Boris Johnson reportedly, but the main thing that has done well from this week is the whole deposit return scheme uh, war. Basically, last week, the Scottish Greens are mess of people calling for his head, saying, oh, resign, you've misled Parliament because you've said that the Scottish Government haven't applied for this, um, the... You, uh, the, the internal market exemption and then Monday what happens oh Scottish Government officially apply the internal market scheme so I mean he stayed quite quiet for all of it he just kept repeating the same lines they called for his head and he's he's came out the other side and he's still obviously survived it um, bad week for me it's kind of opposite to what Hannah said my bad week is actually Nicola Sturgeon I mean when your own cabinet member goes on live TV and basically says you've been mediocre for the last four years that's kind of a, a bad thing to say, is it? Not obviously Hamza was defender, but obviously you can't have your own cabinet minister going on live TV to torture your record in the last few years. So I think a bad week for Nicholas Hudson, in my opinion. 